All right, so I'm unboxing this new helmet that I got for from a customer. Do some custom paint. And anybody that's gonna follow me, uh, know that my computer had crashed. So I got a new computer that didn't have a um, movie editing software. So I purchased that just to find out that my camcorder is so old that it wasn't, it won't work on the new computer. So I'm having to use my camera. So I'm gonna try to get a new camcorder so I can record all the footage. But let me get this out um, helmet opened up and see what we're working with. All right. All right, so here's the helmet. Nothing really uh, spectacular about it. I guess it didn't come with no visor. I'm going to check with the customer and make sure he knows that. But that's the helmet right there. So, get this thing prepped up and get it ready for paint. All right, All right so I got the helmet um, masked. Got it primed down. Put some guide coat on it. Sanded it down smooth and now I'm finna uh, spray the base coat which is gonna be black. And you probably ask why am I gonna respray it black when it was already black? That's because when I do my artwork, um, I want my black to match. So if I would have left that black down and then did my paint and then the parts that I would have had to spray black over it, my black wouldn't have matched up with the black that they used. So. I've used House of Color and I want everything to match so it don't be two different shades of black. So what I'm going to do is spray the base coat with a House of Color black. Then I go ahead and go into my airbrushing. And I got some giveaways I'm going to be doing on these um, skulls here. I'm going to be painting them up. Different colors, candy colors, all kinds of colors, throwing flames on them, designs on it. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways on my website. But I'll give y'all more information on that a little later. All right. All right, so we got the House of Color base coat on there. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and inner coat clear it to uh, protect the base coat. Let that dry, come back in, use a gray scotch pad, scuff it up, and we're going to go ahead and get this design laid out. And what we're going for is they want this on the back. Some uh, Arsenal Gunners. That's going to be on the back, and then they want that right there and like a neon sign on the sides. All right, All right so I have the um, Arsenal Gunners logo to give it that neon look down on both sides of the helmet. So all I have to do now is do this one here on the back side. Like I said, the giveaways, give you example, started out like that, primed it up. And put a custom paint job on it. You know, just some little giveaways for my uh, subscribers. Like I said, I still haven't came up with how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do the giveaway, but I'll figure something out and I figure I'll do like a few skulls up and just give them out to all uh, customers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this other design cut out in my plotter and we'll go ahead and paint that up. Now, like I said, I'm sorry I can't do no step-by-step -step videos because my new computer doesn't work with my camcorder. So until I get that, I have to just film it with my uh, camera. So I'm just doing the segments. but. Uh, once I get it up and running, then I'll go back to doing full tutorials. Alright?
This is the helmet outside in the sun. And you can see how clear that clear is. You, know, you can see them clouds. See the cars over there. That's how I like my clear to be glossy and shiny. All right, so I just wanted to show you, like I say, some of the giveaways. Once I get about 10 done up, then I um, set up how I'm going to give it away. It's in the garage, so I guess it really don't show that good with the clear in the garage. But I, I might take them outside once I get them all done. That's a new helmet I'm working on. Alright, so of course if anybody would like something custom painted by me, you can reach me on my website. Which is right there and I hope y'all enjoyed the video please um comment hit that subscribe button and until next time